don't smile. Get your photo taken, you? When I was little, I went to nursery school every day. Willie came too. One day, a man was coming to take our pictures. You're going to look so pretty. Mummy wanted me to look pretty. Oh, you do have a pretty new dress, said Claire, my nursery teacher. Something very exciting is happening today, isn't it? Claire said, because the man was coming to take our pictures... So, I think we should put our aprons on to keep clean. We had to keep clean. When we went outside, we took our aprons off and put on our coats. I found a puddle. I had fun jumping in the puddle. When I came back inside, I wanted to paint. Take a look at your socks. I'm going to have to get you some clean ones. Oh dear, said Claire. Your socks are all wet and muddy. I painted a hand painting. Claire liked my painting. Oh. Oh no, your dress. Oops, I forgot to put my apron on. My dress was covered in paint. Claire gave me some new clothes to wear. The man came to take our pictures. When the man finished clattering, he started taking photos. We took it in turns to have our picture. Say, you'll have to wait, said Claire. Mummy's coming with some clean clothes. I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to change my clothes. I wanted my picture now. I felt grumpy. Mummy arrived. She had another dress. Claire fiddled with my hair. I felt grumpy. If she doesn't want to change, it doesn't matter. Never mind, said Mummy. If she's happy in those clothes. But I wasn't happy. I still felt grumpy. Who's next then? Next, said the man. I sat on the chair. Are you going to give me a great big smile? Smile, said the man. You sure? I don't I smile, smile, I said. OK, then. The man pressed the camera. Next, said the man. Are you next? I watched the other children having pictures. Whoa! No one hurt. was grumpy, but I was grumpy. Hey, Tig. It's not nice feeling grumpy. But there are so many little things that can make you feel grumpy. Brushing hair, pinchy hair slides, changing clothes, waiting for things to happen. Everything not being quite how you want it to be. But what can make you feel even grumpier is a grumpy face. And a grumpy face makes everyone else feel grumpy too. But if you smile, all the grumps will go away. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Give a smile and you'll feel happy all the day. Give a smile and all your grumpies will turn into your happies. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Go for it, Tig. Give a big smile for everyone. Yes, I thought. I don't want to feel grumpy anymore. I want to smile. Make everyone feel happy again. So I sat on the chair and gave the biggest smile ever. When the man saw Wooly, he didn't smile. It's only a tight spider. Oh. I love smiling. Mummy loves my smiling. Oh, look, that's a lovely picture of you, Tig. Especially in the picture. And I love Willy. We've been together since we were me. The hat. Hi. Hello, parcel for Tig Jemison. When I was little, I got a parcel from Grandad. Inside the parcel was a hat. A sailor's hat. I loved my sailor's hat. Willie liked my sailor's hat too. I wore my sailor's hat a lot. One day, Grandad told Mummy that we were going on a big adventure. 
Ah, a message from Grandad. We're going on a big adventure down a magical river. Wear your sailor's hat. Wear your sailor's hat, said Grandad. That will be cuddly. Grandad's big adventure was on a boat. I wore my sailor's hat. Wait for me! Grandad nearly missed the boat. Grandad wore a sailor's hat too. You got your hat on. Come aboard. The big boat rumbled and grumbled. Off we sailed on our big adventure. I think you'll find out. I'm the captain. Well, I'm the captain. Can you say aye aye, sir? Aye aye, sir. A man told us what everything was. And over on your right now, we have uh, the London Eye. Grandad made everything into a big adventure. We saw a wheel turning high in the sky. Spaceships spinning off to visit the clouds, said Grandad. We saw a tower of pointy glass. The Snow Queen's palace, said Grandad. We saw lots of boats. Fast boats, slow boats and a battleship. Grandad spotted a fairy tale boat. There's Peter Pan. Look, there's Peter Pan sailing to Never Never Land, said Grandad. We went under lots of bridges. When we went under one bridge, it got very windy. Whoosh! My sailor hat blew off. Whoosh! Oh, My sailor hat was gone. It floated away. It was my hat. Have my hat, said Grandad. No, no I wanted my hat. We'll go to the cafe and get a cup of tea. My sailor hat was gone forever. I was angry. I wanted my hat back. Well, your hat's gone, Tig. Well, uh, do you know what? I'll get you another one, will I? Do you want a glass of water? You missed my hat. I loved my hat. Hey, Tig, when you lose something you love, it can make you feel angry. When you lose something forever, it can make you feel sad too. But losing your hat was no one's fault. It was the wind. No one knows what the wind will do next. But hey, Tig, you are on a big adventure. Big adventures are like the wind. You never know what will happen next. Your hat blowing away was the most exciting part of your adventure. Your hat blowing away has made your adventure big. Remember, Tig, a hat is just a thing. You can always get another one. What matters most is that you and Grandad and Mummy are all having fun on your big adventure together. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. My hat was just a thing. You look a bit happier now. Losing my hat was my adventure. The Tower Bridge was opened in 1894. Upstairs, the man was still telling us what everything was. The man didn't know what Willy was. Well, it's only a toy to find I didn't miss my sailor set anymore. I just liked having my big adventure with my granddad. And I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Halloween. What have we got here? Pumpkins. When I was little, we were going to have a Halloween party. Tig, we are going to have a Halloween party. What's a Halloween party? What's a Halloween party, Mummy? I said. Scary. <laughs> no, fun. Halloween is a party people have been having for hundreds of years, and everyone gets to dress up in funny clothes. A Halloween party is where everyone dresses up in funny clothes, fun. said Mummy. Right, pumpkin time. The first thing that we did for the Halloween party was make pumpkin lanterns. We took the middle out of the pumpkin and Daddy made pumpkin pie. We made a face in the pumpkin. Nose, eyes, mouth. Ooh, scary. No, funny face. Silly Daddy. Tig, what are you going to dress up 
as for Halloween. What do you want to dress up as? said Mummy. You can be anything you like. A spaceman, a fairy. A bobble bug monster. A bobble bug monster, I said. What's a bobble bug monster? A monster with lots of bobbles. Mummy helped me make the bobble bug monster. When Angel came to play, she helped me make my bobble bug monster too. What are you dressing up as for Halloween, Angel? said Mummy. So, what are you going to wear for Halloween, Angel? I don't know. Hmm, a surprise. That's a I'm not thing. sure yet, said Angel. Yeah. We were having the Halloween party in a big, big room. We are going to have to make this place all scary. Scary and fun. We're mm. going to make the room into Halloween. At one end of the room, Daddy made a castle. The castle was very old. Angel came along to help too. We put the pumpkins all around the room. What are you dressing up as for Halloween? said Daddy. Angel, what are you going to get dressed up as? Mm, I don't know. Oh, that's brilliant. Surprise, surprise. On the day of Halloween, I dressed up as my bobble bug monster. Wow, I don't think there are going to be many bobble bug monsters. Daddy had made some little wings for Wooly so he could dress up too. Don't forget, Wooly has to dress up too. Right, off we go. Come on, Tig. At the Halloween party, everyone came dressed up. It was fun. There were lots of monsters. Fairies. Ghosts. Witches. Pirates. Daddy didn't really have a costume. Daddy was just sort of ordinary. Mummy was a sparkly witch. I didn't see Angel. Gather round. Gather round. Because... Daddy told us a scary story. A scary, scary story. A fairy cried. Right, no more scary. Halloween is scary. You're OK. No more scary, said Mummy. No more scary, Daddy. No more scary, said the bobble bug monster. Then Mummy said, Look who's arrived! I thought it was Angel, but it wasn't. Mr. Jack O' Lantern! It was Mr. Jack O' Lantern, the trick or treat man! Witches and monsters, hello! We all had to do a trick for Mr. Jack O' Lantern. And then he gave us a treat. There you go. I was so excited. Oh. I practiced my very own bubble bug monster stomp. My turn came. But then I saw another bubble bug monster. It was Angel. I sat under a table. How dare Angel copy me? I'm the bubble bug monster. Hey Tig, it's not nice when you think you're the only bubble bug monster and then you see another one. It's not nice when people copy you. When people copy you, it can feel like someone has taken something from you. But then when people copy you, you can feel pleased too. When people copy you, it shows you how much they like the things you do. Angel just loved your bubble bug monster. Angel loved your bubble bug monster so much. She wanted to be a bubble bug monster too. You can feel pleased Angel copied you. You can feel pleased you helped Angel choose her dressing up. And hey, Two monster bubble bugs are better than one, so go for it, Tig. Don't be grumpy. Go and have fun with your bubble bug chum. Yes, I thought. I'm pleased that Angel liked my bubble bug monster. Monster stomp. Angel and me did a bubble bug monster stomp together for Mr. Jack-o'-lantern. We got his treats. 
After that, Mr. Jack o' Lantern did lots of party games. Sweet those marshmallows! Eating the marshmallow. Knocking off the witch's hat. Oh. Oh. It's time to wrap up the mummy. Oh, or should I say, a daddy? <laughs> Wrapping up the mummy. We wrap daddy up in old wrapping paper. <laughs> Pinning the bow tie on the skeleton. <laughs> and then we did the scary monster stomp. Halloween was so much fun. At the end of the party, all the monsters and witches and fairies went home. We went home too. Bobble Bug Monster Bedtime. Retired Bobble Bug Monster. No, I said, I didn't want Halloween to end. I still wanted to be a monster. Okay, take pajamas on. I didn't want to go to bed. Run! Hey, Tig, we've had so much Halloween fun. We don't want to spoil it. Maybe it's time to stop the rules. I, but I like being a monster. I like being a monster too. But even monsters have to go to bed. Wee! I like a lot of monsters. Oh, yes, I do. Spotty ones and hairy ones, one eye or two. They squelch around in wellies, they make me laugh. And some are rather smelly, they need a bath. They wobble, roar and squabble, and they bump their tums. But I really, really like my monster chums. But monsters are for daytime fun and not when bedtime comes. So when I sleep my happy night, so do my monster chums. Night, night, monsters, not one roar. Snuggle down comfy and please don't snore. Night, night, monsters, not one peep, snuggle down, come fee and go to sleep. Yes, I thought. I've had the best Halloween, but now is bedtime. I close my eyes. When I opened my eyes again, I was no longer a monster. I was in my pyjamas. To bed for the bubble monster. Not a bubble monster, just me. <gasps> it's only a toy spider, a <gasps> silly dog. Oh, come on then. I like Halloween and I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were here. Going to school. When I was little, I went to school. Not my nursery school, but a big school. Wooly came too. Before I went to school, me and my mummy went to see it. A nice lady showed us the big school. Who's this? Wooly. Would you like to come and show Wooly something in the school? There were lots of rooms. There were lots of stairs. They were pegs to hang up our coats. They were toilets. I like the toilets. They have lots of basins. Then the nice lady showed us into a room with lots of pictures and chairs. And this is Miss Sanderson. She's going to be your teacher. This will be your classroom, Teg. Miss Sanderson will be your teacher. I liked Miss Sanderson. She smiled at me. Miss Sanderson showed me my classroom. That's right. There were tables for writing, play areas just like nursery. I had my very own draw. Then I met a girl called Julia. Julia, she's going to be your buddy when you come to school. Julia was my buddy. Julia gave me a book all about her. I liked my new big school. 
Mummy bought me new clothes for school. They were clothes just like Julia's. OK, Tig. Do you want to go and try on your uniform? Yes, When Daddy came home, he didn't know who I was. Who's this? Tig. No, you can't be Tig. Oh, it is Tig. <laughs> Yay. Funny, Daddy. And here's your bag, Tig. Thank you, Mummy. You're all set for school. Yeah. On my first day at my new big school, I was very excited. We hung up our coats. In my classroom, Miss Sanson let us choose what to do. I played just like at nursery. I knew some of the children. They were at my nursery. Yippee! Later, Miss Anderson said to sit down. Now, boys and girls, we are going to do some letter work. We did sounds. We did shapes. And swap. We learnt letters. Miss Anderson showed us how to write letters. Go up, down, with a tape. Do you think you could have a go? I wrote my letters with a pencil. Wonderful. Well done. Just keep going. I want to make all the letters just right for Miss Sanderson. Ping! My pencil broke! I couldn't write anymore. I didn't know what to do. Oh dear, Tig, you broke your pencil. I know how you feel. You don't want Miss Sanderson to know, do you? No. But Miss Sanderson is here to help, Tig. If you don't tell her your worries, she can't help sort them. Any weeny worry, any tiny trouble, any little bit of bother. Have a funny tummy, feeling kind of grumpy. All your bits and bother grow bigger. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Tell and share your troubles, that way they go away. Tell and share your troubles for happy worry-free days. Share and tell, tell and share, share and tell, tell and share for happy Tommy, feeling kind of grumpy. All your bits of bother grow bigger. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Tell and share your troubles, that way they go away. Tell and share your troubles for happy boy free days. Share and tell, tell and share, share and tell, tell and share for happy boy free days. Go for it, Tig! <laughs> yes, I thought. My pencil's broken. I must tell Miss Sanderson. Oh, that's no worries. I'll give you a new one. There you go. No worries, said Miss Sanson, and gave me another pencil. I loved my first day at school. When I got my shoes the wrong way round, I told Miss Sanson. When I wanted to go to the toilet, Excuse me, where's the toilet? A teacher reminded me where to go. In the playground, I had no worries. My buddy Julia showed me everything. We played and had fun. After break, we had numbers and counting. Going to school was so much fun. 
Me and Julia had lunch together. I had lunch on a tree. After lunch, Miss Sanson read us a story. I wanted Willie to cuddle, but I couldn't find him. Yes, Chick? I've lost Willie. OK. I told Miss Sanson. I was so worried. Miss Sanson couldn't find Willie. Poor Willie was lost. Miss Sanson told the nice lady. The nice lady told the head teacher. The head teacher told Julia, my buddy. Yeah, do you know where he is? I know where Willie is. Excellent. On you go. Julia knew where Willie was. Willie was where I had left him when I went out to play. Middle-aged lady. I was so happy to have Willie to hug again. After school, when I got home, I was very tired. How's your first day at school? I was grumpy. I didn't want to talk. I wanted to hold poor Willie. Hey, Tig! You've had your first day at school. You're very tired. But what has made you even more tired is losing me. Maybe tomorrow you should leave me here at home. No, Willie, I'll never, I'll never leave you. But you left me today and I got lost. School is a busy place. You don't want me to get lost again. I love you, Willie. And I love you too, Tig. I'll be here waiting for you every day, like Mummy and Daddy. Yippee! Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I love Willie. I love Mummy and Daddy. I like them safe at home. Going to school the next day was exciting. We did gym. We did counting. We played. Miss Sanson read us a story. I hugged a frog and thought of Willie. When I came home, Willie was waiting for me. I'm only a toy spider. Then I told Willie and Mummy and Daddy all about my day at school. And then after break, I like going to school. I like coming home. I love Willie. I love Willie.